Storytelling might seem like an odd subject for a business communication course, but narrative techniques can be an effective way to organize messages in a surprising number of business situations. For example, Virgin Atlantic Airways recently created a series of scripts and then produced videos with a number of different employees talking about their experiences working at the airline. Storytelling can be used for so many different things, from training employees to enticing customers and investors. Storytelling is such a vital means of communication that, according to management consultant Steve Toback, it's hard to imagine one's career going anywhere without the ability to tell a story. Fortunately, students have been telling stories all their lives, so narrative techniques already come naturally to them. Now it's just a matter of adapting those techniques to business situations. Students have also been on the receiving end of numerous business stories. Storytelling is one of the most common structures used in television commercials and other advertisements. People love to share stories about themselves and others, which makes social media ideal for storytelling. For example, Toyota's autobiography, user-generated content campaign, featured in Bovey and Thill's text, is all about storytelling. Career-related stories, such as how someone sought and found the opportunity to work on projects he or she is passionate about, can entice skilled employees to consider joining a firm. Many companies now use Facebook's timeline feature to create visual stories of their founding in early years. Patagonia's Tin Shed website serves two storytelling functions. The Tin Shed, Patagonia's first building, plays a key role in the company's founding in early years. And the online image of the shed offers gateways to a growing collection of stories on how such topics as to how various Patagonia products came into being, how outdoor enthusiasts use the company's products, and how Patagonia is engaged with various causes related to the outdoors. Recently in the Red Cross blog, a post appeared that was titled, Weather Happens, Be Prepared. It's an inviting story by a Red Cross employee who writes about her life as a kid on Cape Cod and uses that to educate people on being prepared for a blizzard. Entrepreneurs use stories to help investors see how their new ideas have the potential to affect people's lives and therefore generate lots of sales. Stories can be cautionary tales as well, dramatizing the consequences of career blunders, ethical mistakes, and strategic missteps. A key reason that storytelling can be so effective is that stories help readers and listeners imagine themselves living through the experience of the person in the story. A classic story has three basic parts. The beginning of the story presents someone with whom the audience can identify with in some way, and this person has a dream to pursue or a problem to solve. Think of how movies and novels often start by introducing a likable character who immediately gets into danger. The middle of the story shows this character taking action and making decisions as he or she pursues the goal or tries to solve the problem. The storyteller's objective here is to build the audience's interest by increasing tension. Will the hero overcome the obstacles in his or her path and defeat whatever adversary is keeping him or her away from their goal? The end of the story answers that question and usually offers a lesson to be learned about the outcome as well. Storytelling isn't as difficult as students might think. In this Learn More feature, we show students examples of how people have mined the web to piece together real stories on a variety of topics. Encourage your students to consider adding an element of storytelling whenever their main idea involves the opportunity to inspire or to warn readers or listeners about the potential outcomes of a particular course of action. Your students can learn the skills of storytelling from textbooks by Bovey and Phil. No other business communication text on the market covers storytelling as an organizing model. To contact your local rep, to order examination copies, or to get further information about these texts, and to download a large complimentary collection of materials for your classroom, please visit Bovey and Thales Business Communication blog.